Hi again, this is Andy K4GKP, and welcome back to the Hand Whisper and Lesson 11 in the International Morse Code course. This is the last lesson in the Morse Code course. In this lesson, there's nothing really new you're going to learn. We're going to review the alphabet and the characters that we had learned and the numbers. But in this lesson, I just wanted to go over some uh, the at sign, which is something that you might see if someone's trying to send you an email address. Um, more or less just so you're aware that it's out there, and if you hear kind of a weird character during an email, address that you know what it is. I'm also going to go over some Morse code abbreviations like AR, SK, and DE just so you are aware they are. They're commonly used and they can cause some confusion if you've just been learning the alphabet. So with that let's start with a review from the last lesson and the previous lessons. Alright, in the last lesson, lesson 10, we covered the number 6, comma, slash, and the question mark. Let's do a quick review of Lesson 10 just to make sure we got these characters solid. So grab your pencil and paper and start copying. All right, what you should have copied was 6, 6, comma, slash, question mark, question mark, slash, comma, comma, question mark, slash, comma, question mark, 6, question mark, 6. All right, if you had any trouble with that, go back to Lesson 10 and review that. If not, let's do a random run for about a minute covering everything we've learned so far. Grab your pencil and paper, and let's get started. All right, what you should have copied was A M six period question mark F Q R I P Z C V D B X two K G H period comma N N A S N. All right, if you had trouble with that, go back and review. Otherwise, let's move on and cover some of these uh, this the at sign and some of these. Morse code abbreviations. Alright, the last character we're going to learn um, is the at sign. And that goes something like this. Dit da da dit da dit. Alright, you'll see that in email addresses and whatnot. If somebody's actually trying to give you their location, they're not going to use the at sign. They're going to say, you know, they're going to type in QTH, which is the Q signal for location, and then they'll put is and then what their location is. But if you're copying down an email address and you hear, 
That's the at sign. All right, let's move on to some Morse code abbreviations. All right, the first procedural Morse code abbreviation, if you want to call it that, we're going to learn is AR. And what AR is, is the letters A and R run together, so there's no space between the letters, just straight AR. And what this means is, is the Morse code equivalent of saying over. So if you're doing a voice transmission, you would finish your part of the transmission and you would just say over, waiting for response from the other station. So if you hear AR, that's what it means. Um, the way you annotate this is you write AR and put a line over it, but generally you don't have to annotate it because it's not part of the written message. But sometimes it's just good practice to do that, especially if you're copying code for an emergency communication or something like that. So at the end of somebody's transmission, if you hear, that is them saying over and waiting for a response from you. And then when you're done with your transmission, you would send back to them, waiting for their transmission back. All right, the next one we're going to learn is SK. Da, 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 da. This is the same thing as the AR. You got the letters S and K run together. And the way you annotate this is you write SK and put a line over it. So what this, what SK stands for is the Morse code equivalent of saying out in a voice transmission. So when you were completely done with the transmission, you would send annotating that you were done with the entire transmission and you were not re expecting a response back from the other stations. So in, if you're sending a piece of a transmission, you're waiting for a response, you would send AR. If you were done with your transmission, you send SK. Some people say SK stands for silent key, that you, you know, you're stopped transmitting and now your key is silent. But you know, I don't know if there's any fact to that. But when you're done with your transmission and you're ready to move on to a new contact or you're shutting your station down, at the end of your transmission you send SK. All right, another common abbreviation that's used in every Morse code message is the letters DE. And what this stands for is this is. So DE. Now, if I was trying to talk to KA1YQA and I wanted to know it was me, I would, in Morse code, I would send KA1YQA DE KE4GKP, saying KA1YQA, this is KE4GKP, is how would I say I would say that in voice. So when you hear call signs and then you have a, um, a DE in between two call signs, the first call sign is the station that's being talked to, and the DE says this is the station that's sending. So, da dit 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 is DE. This is these are not run together. It's uh, you put the space between the words, unlike AR and SK. Just DE. All right, let's do one more long random run covering everything we've learned. Now, keep in mind that. What I said back in the first lesson, that one of the cardinal rules about copying Morse code is you do not want to read while you're copying. You have plenty of time to do it after you're done. Keep that in mind for this random run. Also, this is going to be a little bit of a longer one, so if you need to take a break, stretch, get something to drink, so you come back fresh and ready to copy code, go ahead and do pause the video and, and do so. If you're ready, grab your pencil and your piece of paper, and let's start copying.
And that's the lesson 11, random run. And now that you're done with the random run, you can check it at hamwhisper.com. Just go to the Morse code course at the tab at the top of the screen. Find the link to this lesson, and you'll find the random run there. And you can also find all the other courses I got on hamwhisper.com. I have a technician license course. I also have a general class license course on there. So until the next lesson, or the next course, rather, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.